Hey everybody, Dr. A, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about exploratory, descriptive, and causal research. For the students, the CE fellows, and the students participating in this summer consortium, research consortium, this is for you. If you're not part of it, you can learn more about it in the description. All right, so this summer you're gonna be working on research. And when it comes to research, there's gonna be three types of research projects that you take could take on exploratory research, descriptive research, or causal research. All three types of research are important. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. So let's go in more detail about them. Exploratory research is research that explores a topic. So you are reading the literature, seeing what others have said about this topic, and try to formulate your own hypotheses. So uh, that's, that's the main goal. Over the summer, you just wanna learn as much about what has already been said and synthesize this research and findings to support you to move on to higher order research. So when we talk about exploratory research, we're thinking literature reviews or case studies. The next step to research is descriptive research. Now you're gonna take what you've explored and try to come up with a question that analyzes relationships. So you're describing the current state, but you're looking or leveraging the power of data here. So if you're working on uh, the economics of entrepreneurship, things like what's the average age of an entrepreneur? How long do businesses stay in business on average? What is the failure or success rate? Um, gender differences in entrepreneurial intentions. These are all descriptive in nature. They're correlation based. Uh, the third and final type of research is the highest order, not necessarily the most important. Some people will tell you that causal research is the only research that should be done. I disagree. That's my hot take. All research is important. Causal research, though, tries to explain cause and effect. So we're trying to explain how something impacts another or why it impacts it. Uh, so you're looking at causality. From a policy analysis standpoint, uh, this is really important. Medicine, randomized controlled trials, that's you know, experimentation in, in labs and biology and chemistry. These are trying to identify causality. In economics, sometimes we cannot do randomized controlled trials, so we have to rely on observational data and things that you learn in econometrics classes help you to isolate the cause and effect or what we call the identification strategy. For this summer though, I want you to focus mainly on exploratory research and descriptive research. Causal research takes a little bit longer. We could work on it for the rest of the academic year or the next academic year. For this summer though, we're just getting started with research, so um, Let's not try to do too much. If you end up doing causal work, great. Uh, we will support you through the research, the Summer Research Consortium, but it's not mandatory. Most importantly, the most, uh, the prerequisite to everything is you really have to be curious about something, okay? And you need to read about it. You need to understand what others have said about it, where the gaps are in our analysis, and then that's how you start to learn how you could add value to the body of research that's already done. It's gonna be an exciting summer. I'm excited to work with you. If you're here and you don't know what the Summer Research Consortium is, I'll include a little bit more detail in the body of this um, video, the caption. For everybody that's part of the Summer Research Consortium, I'm really excited to work with you. Reach out if you have any questions. So your job is to figure out if you want to do exploratory or descriptive work this summer. See you next week.